Hello, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a local beer. Ooh, they don't get much better than this local beer, baby. It's from the Fat Ed's Brewing Company. Now, they're located in Middleburg Heights, Ohio, and this is the I.B. Yosef. As in abusive, baby, it's going to abuse you. Checks in at 7.5% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 90. This beer is 12 days old. Yeah, baby, go drink it up and enjoy it. Yeah, Matt Cole has had great success with this company. I know Matt probably doesn't remember me. I visited him in the old days when he used to be the head brewer at the Rocky River Brewing Company here in Ohio. He's moved on since then and done fantastic things. Oh, man. I like when uh, local boys do good. Oh, I can't get this can open. That was a stubborn one. They always say on their cans, chill out and have a beer, man. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to chill out and have a beer. <laughs> this is a 16-ounce can. Now, I should tell you that it's unfiltered. So we may see some things in there. It's not a problem. But I like these reviewers on YouTube when they get on there and they have a filtered beer. Oh, I see some very fine sediment in there. And what you're seeing is the residue from the soap that you washed it with. <laughs> and if you wash your glassware in the sink where everything is dirty, yeah, your sink may not be dirty, but the dishes you had in there before are dirty. Doesn't matter how good you clean your sink, there's still going to be some residue in there. And that's what clings to the glass. So your glass should be clear. You shouldn't see anything in there. Now for an unfiltered beer, this is pretty darn clear. It's a beautiful golden orange color with a nice bright foam on there. Oh, yeah. Let's see what kind of aromas we can pick up. Uh, yeah, baby. Oh, I get a little bit of tropical fruit, but what I'm happy about is that pine resin. Man, I love this style of beer. It didn't say on the can if this was a West Coast style, but it smells like it is. Before I drink this beer, I want to pay homage and thank the brewers there at Fathead's Brewery for all the hard work they put into me. Every single batch of beer, baby, they make them and they make me happy. Cheers to them. Cheers to you at home. Ooh, we see we need more beers like this on the market right here. This this is a traditional IPA in my opinion. It has very faint hints of tropical fruit. And I'm talking about they're out in the distance. They're out in left field, baby. They're not right up front in your face. I just taste them a little bit. I get a little bit of grapefruit in there, but what I get the most of is that piney resin in there with that lovely dry, bitter finish that just begs me to drink more. Which I am happy to oblige. This is a fine beer. This is a fine beer. Now, for those of you out there who don't like your beers unfiltered, it's okay. If you pour it very slowly like this, you won't serve the sediment in the bottom of the can. <clears throat> and we're almost at the bottom. There's just a little bit left in there. It's not going to hurt you at all. Because remember, this beer came from that can and the sediment's already in there. But if you just don't like to see it and the thought of it, uh, drinking it just turns you off, you don't have to drink it. That's what America's all about, baby. Our freedom of choice. Hmm. That is a lovely looking beer, isn't it? Remember... Chill out, man. Have a beer. That is so smooth and easy drinking. And a 7.5%, 90 IBUs, a very decent beer indeed. Oh, it's quite lovely, no doubt. Ah, uh, I would highly recommend this beer. It has a uh, medium carbonation on it, and I would describe it as medium to full-bodied. Very pleasing indeed. 
I wouldn't want to pair this uh, beer with any food because I want to taste this beer just as it is. But it would go well with a variety of foods, no doubt about it. It is a sipping beer. Remember, it's 7.5% alcohol, and it's got that dry, bitter finish. Man, oh, mm. If you like that type of beer, then this is the beer for you. Remember, this is from Fathead's Brewery out of Middlebury Heights, Ohio. I don't know what their distribution network is, but I imagine they're uh, all up and down the east coast of America, no doubt about it. The I.B. Yusuf. I.B. Abusive. <laughs> All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. Find great beer that you like and drink it up, baby. Cheers to that.